So it's a terrific pleasure to welcome Jane Taylor. And there's another throne here that's going to have Ben Baldwin sitting on it in about five minutes, who's label manager and um, an all-round uh, clever man, actually, who's helping me raise the money and um, who's helping me launch the album next year. And we're going to have a meeting and I'll introduce him. Hi, Jane. Hi. Okay. This is Ben. This is Ben Baldwin, who helps me lots with... He's actually going to be label manager and general coordinator of the launch next year and at the moment is helping me um, get the campaign together. He's quite instrumental in getting the campaign together. Thank you. Um, I think that would look really nice. Yeah. I took I out the, the, um, the fourth track, fifth track. Yeah. Um, With the idea that we could give, give it a free one away. But I don't know what you thought of that track. Did you? Have you yeah, no, to it? I think it's great. Do you think it's the? Great? Um, I don't know what you mean that it's. It's kind of a. I guess it's because it's, it's an old song and it's an old recording and it was recorded away from these tracks. Yeah. That. Um, I think that's more your. Your take on it. Okay. When, when you, you come can't at it tell from that. you. No, no, no. Okay, it fits cool. perfectly. It's still a Jane Taylor song. Okay. Because in also terms of regret. space. Okay, okay, all right, so there's different things then. Are you right? In terms of space, that's, that's kind of quite word. good for message. Yeah. Messages. That's kind of a bit odd. Yeah, I agree. And so. It's a light. Bit like the same. That's cool. Where did you do them? In my house. Right. I like that one. Yeah, yeah. So this is the, this is the duck pile. Your winter coat. Yeah, but <laughs> I would say they look sort of a bit. <laughs> bit, bit snow princess. <laughs> yeah, well, it's also a good snow princess, but it's a winter. I try and do like a Christmas shot. Yeah, yeah. Um, but gosh, you can tell I've got makeup on there, can't you? I look like a, I look like a clown. No, you don't. You do. Look, I look like I've got, I've got lipstick on. That's all right, isn't it? People would expect it. Well, I suppose it's quite sweet. It's, it says something about. Uh, yeah, it's Jane at home. I guess it's w how posed it is, yeah, isn't it? It does, that natural. does look very posed, whereas that's a little less posed. Yeah, that's true. Mm. I'm not sure there was flattering uh. there. These are quite funny actually, because I did, because I was just yeah, yeah. I was just you actually, <laughs> I'm actually singing. <laughs> They're good photos though. And now this is more back to your Montpellier kind yeah, of photos yeah, with the yeah. outdoors. The slightly scared. Yeah, I do look <laughs> slightly scared, don't I? Is that definitely out? Yeah, slightly scared is not good. These are quite sweet. Yeah. Someone said, look up. Yeah, exactly. Whereas there, there's something quite cool about true. that. Actually, you're really looking at the person. And yeah. You could love yeah. them or you could hate them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the gift, is to not be able to share what it is. Because some of these are press photographs, yeah, yeah. you know. I quite like that one. Yeah, that's very nice. That's kind of a similar thing, it's just a moment caught. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. We did take a few of these. It was the colours, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. And you know we're, we're relaunching Compass, so it's got to fall in line with the colours of Compass or something mm -hmm. about Compass that comes in, but it's got to be a new angle. I, yeah. don't, I don't know what that looks like right now. Behind this door is Bex Baxter, who is one of my oldest friends, and she's a songwriter, 
and she's really clever. And she helps me out with the thing I hate most of all, and that's the styling thing, what to wear, hair, makeup, all of that rubbish that I find really hard. And she's really good at stuff like that. She knows what, what I should do. So I'm going to have a chat with her, and you're going to meet her. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi. How are you? Good. You coming in? Come and get some tea. Do you? I love eggs, definitely. Um, table looks nice. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, I did that. <laughs> this is especially, especially a bit building. Yes. So, so tell me how where you are in terms of. I mean, the last time we we did style and looked at your, you know, the clothes you wanted to wear and how you wanted to be sort of seen. It's in hot nest, really. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. A long time ago. That was challenging. <laughs> I am quite challenging. <laughs> um, I don't want that. I don't want that. I find it the hardest part of doing what I do. Um, why? What, because the because there's so much. It's all so much about image at the moment. Well, not at the moment. For quite a long time, it's been about image, about the way you present to yourself, instead of just kind of being who you are as an artist and just um, letting that come through. I mean, Joni Mitchell. There's a lot of footage of her just being Joni Mitchell. And she's very beautiful. And she's very young when she started out, anyway. But it's not. Um, Bob Dylan had something very exciting about the way he looked. You know, he's, he had a particular look, and it's just styles, styled because it's the '60s, and it, it all looked a bit, a bit groovy from where we are now. But today, it was all got a bit manufactured, and it's got a bit. Everyone looks so perfect, and it's really hard to try and work out what you when you've got to think about what you look like and what you're projecting, what that is. And I. I guess I don't want to have to. I don't. I just want to be me. I don't really make a massive effort when I'm on stage about how I look. I try and be as comfortable as possible. Whenever I've tried to, like, when we did that gig in Dartington College and I wore those shoes that were insane, and I wore this high, <laughs> I was just stood there on stage and didn't move for the whole thing. And then the last, the last bit of it, I just. I took my shoes off when I came on, on for the encore. I took my shoes off, ran on stage. I'm like, oh, why didn't they do this before? Um, I just find it really, really, I really hard. I did. I, the last thing I have time to think about is how I look. And yet, it's what people see. And it's when I stand on stage, that's what people see. They hear me. But I also know that if you know the hem of my skirt's coming down and my hair's all over the place, that someone, someone in the audience is going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just, you know, just her hands down and she hasn't really got any makeup on, has she? I think I've ever done the eggs, you might all have to have another one. They look lovely. Oh. You know, it's not just that they're listening to me, they're actually looking at me. Yeah. And I find that hard. I look like a clown. No, you don't. We're just adding the colour to your cheeks. That already is there. <laughs> It's finding the ones that this stuff is brilliant because it's it's got like a moisturizer in it. In it. Oh, I think that's used. I haven't got any moisturizer. Radiance, hydration, antioxidant, and energy. It so actually that. nourishes your skin. Um, there's only a few things, but I always think go for the best natural product on the market if you can. Just think it's it's. Bound to be better. They're always more expensive, aren't they? Though that's the thing. They are, but I mean, yeah. they can last a long time. Yeah. I mean, if you think about the makeup you've got in your, I mean, how long have you had it for? Yeah, that's because I hardly wear it. <laughs> okay. About well, five years. Well, same with me. Yeah, I mean, you're right. If I just let go and you were just doing makeup, doing some hair styling that I was just open to, and put me in things that I would, because you have put me in some things and I've gone, oh god, no. Can you but, speak? No, you can't speak. Oh, God. This is the way I turn into sharp. Yeah, but if I was allowed to kind of, if, if I just let go and let someone try different styles on me and I let that happen, then I might be pleasantly surprised. Who is that? Celine. I can't 
Dion. <laughs> Celine Dion. Yeah, yeah, a very good friend of mine. You do her makeup too, do you? Yeah, I do. I do lots of famous people's makeup. In your bedroom. In my bedroom. <laughs> She's gonna look like a corn star. She's got this thing that when I put lip liner on, I make it look like a porn star. But <laughs> the thing is, it's about you have to put kind of a quite a bit on first, and then you blend it in. Oh, I just said a corn star. <laughs> <laughs> Green giant. <laughs> <laughs> When you're not around and I got to do something like like this morning we met Ben. Oh yeah. And uh and Owen is filming. Owen was filming me and I didn't I didn't have anyone checking anything, like, you know, with my hair alright. Or what to wear. Mm -hmm. I find that really hard. And then, uh, because I can't seem to do it on my own, I just sort of get a bit... But, I mean, to me it's like, don't do that, try. <sighs> to me it's, um, it's actually the, it's what causes you to not know what to wear. What causes that? Because, actually, if you were really enjoying yourself, if you're actually really enjoying what you look like, relax. Um... What would what would show up? It wouldn't matter what I was wearing, probably. Or you might actually go, God, I really want to wear that. I really like the way that hangs on me. Or well, I think since I've had Oliver though, I find it harder. Yeah. Pre Oliver, pre having a baby, you know, I put on weight, and that's what happens when you have a baby. And so, oh, my identity's changed quite a bit. Yeah. So I probably don't have the same association that I used to have. But I'm working on it. Yeah. I'm working on I'm shifting that actually. <laughs> this is my association with the word makeup. Professional I'm, makeup artist. Yes, I'm not a professional makeup artist. But I just know when I'm watching the people on telly and stuff, I'll be kind of, you know, making a comment about, oh, for goodness sake, from the, from my armchair. Well, we all like to do I that. I know, but I'm always aware of that. So we're making a DVD, we're making a film, but I'm the aware part. that when people be sitting there going, oh my God. Who cares? I know. <laughs> so why am I making a DVD? Because I want to share some stuff with people and let them know that... We operate out of Bex's bedroom and uh, <laughs> and free spaces in Hamilton Hill. And uh, well, I think it's about you know this whole conversation is looking at what's really going on for songwriters. You know, grassroots stuff. You know, if you went on X Factor or you, you wanted to go <laughs> the music down the music me industry, me and Simon Cowell would get on great with me. It's a very different world yeah, it's very and a very different experience. And um, you know, if you look at Bob Dylan, Tony Mitchell, they're talking about real stuff. And they were kind of allowed to express it that way. But it's um, these days you've kind of got to fit a particular criteria. It's all about making money. And obviously. Obviously, that's obviously not our primary driver. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're so wealthy, it's ridiculous. We are in other ways, obviously. But it doesn't mean you're not a valid or a songwriter or musician. It's... You know. Well, no, and that's what the animation is about, that I'm going to send everybody to communicate why we're raising money. Well, the makeup might last till this evening's performance. At Colston Hall. The Colston Hall tonight, yeah. Is it a biggie? That's what you're babysitting for. Oh, you going for oh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going out. Thank you. I'm sure I'm supposed to be.
Is it? No, I've got my diary. It's in my bag. I haven't looked at it. It's there. So I'm going to do all our work for our songwriting courses. Yeah. I'm taking you quite far here. This is kind of glamorous. Yeah. This is show, isn't it? This but, is being, well, it, it kind of is, but it's still, you know, you can wrangle it all this and it can still be very Victorian and natural. Um, and on stage, that makeup you're not even going to see. No. It wouldn't no. even be recognised. Yeah. It would just be, you know, you could even put some um, s sparkly things on. You can be, more, you can be yeah. modern with your Victorian look. Yeah. You can combine looks and it's about it's about this becoming an art yeah which is what I want to do I'm just not entirely sure how just to turn do it. Look, in the... okay. look at that how attractive is that <laughs> it's really you know and that's got no gunk on it if no. I was to do it properly it would be ringleted it would have some gunk it would really feel like it was going to stay for a whole evening yeah and they're kind of a modern take on and it just it's a bit more special. And it just brings a bit of magic. <laughs> God, I'm such a makeup artist, aren't I? There's someone at home going, I do this for a living. <laughs> she hasn't got a clue. <laughs> Look, we're grassroots, all right? <laughs> it's well, Someone, it someone's up. got to do it. <laughs> if I didn't no have money. Bex, yeah, exactly. If I didn't have you kind of just even taking a big interest. Bye, sweetheart! Let's have a look at that, how pretty they are. Just sparkling. Aww! And you can do it on both sides. They're like the three birds in Coronation Street that are on the wall and in a. <laughs> no, they're not. The three <laughs> flying ducks. Oh, that needs to be curved a bit. <laughs> Go. It Sorry, it was because they were all in the, in the line. I just and you'll notice people going, "Oh, that looks so pretty." When you're, I'll notice them because I'll be going, "Oh, he's so." Oh God, they're annoying to get on. I have to say, because they're tiny, yeah, yeah. aren't they? There, that's how you want it. Slightly. Yeah. Tiny. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, so let's and also you suit <coughs> pinks. So let's just go into. Come on, we're just having a bit of a glam moment. I want you to experiment with the <laughs> Do that up. Or at least at least show that bit, because that bit's quite nice. Okay. Get rid of that, because that's not working right now. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to do it up? No, just leave it. It's more the colour. Because you can go for stronger colours than the pales. Pink. And it brings out your pink, because mm. that pink is a good colour for you. <laughs> It's a wicked coat there, isn't it? Yeah, this so now, now you've got to work it. Just enjoy being in it. Okay. Rather than going, oh, I'm in Bex's clothes and she's made me look glamorous and... Yeah. Yeah. I'm you've got to relax and just okay. go... It's a bit like playing a role, so the part of you that would really like to... Yeah. The confident yeah. woman. Yeah. Yeah. It's so tonight, for my, for my gig... Okay. Right? Well, I'm... Um, there is this. That it works, I doesn't would totally it? Do the, I would totally keep the makeup on and just add more to it. And do I think like um, that. that hair looks wicked. Don't! So <laughs> I've got to get from <laughs> here to a rehearsal um, at Corson Hall. And uh, oh, this is a sweet little jacket. Gorgy pop, isn't it? It's slightly small, but it, it suits you. It's quite pale, isn't it? Like yeah, but, quite pale, but that suits you. That You know, as long as it's... And what it does is it gives you a waist. Yeah. It allows you to have your your Victorian cleavage. Oh, all that. Victorian cleavage. Do they have cleavages? In and the long skirt really goes with that jacket. So this is John Wesley's Chapel, where I'm going to be doing a gig, a Christmas winter gig, winter concert, on the fifth of December. I'm just checking it out because it is so beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful and uh, I'm sure you all agree. So I'm just going to let you see it too.
respect to his yeah. place, which is why we're happy to come here because our audience is mm. all lovely and they all just love to be here. Yeah, they like, yeah. and, and our music's about listening and being open. Yeah. And as well.
I got to the end of the fingerboard and I said I can't play any higher. So oh yeah! Oh yeah, no, that was really good, yeah. Yeah. So in this one then, what we're going to do, Rob and I have started a discussion, we are going to do, because it's a, it's a way of saying... Let's, let's go! Right. What crazy! Yeah. yeah. So, and we're not going to do an encore, we're just going to have that as our final one because there is no time. Yeah. Because we're not allowed. Yeah. So we're going to do Rob's bass, bass solo, then Kate's cello, then, have you got your thing written up still? Cool. Yeah. Then Rob's drum <laughs> solo. Yes. Then the violin and the violin. Because otherwise, Rob doesn't do it, then it just doesn't work. Unless she's not talking about it from the <laughs> people of the